So by filming, you know, the first time that they made the homilies, that's mm -hmm. a good guide for them already. Yes. What is lacking in them? Could be because you can tell a man uh, when you preach, you tend to be a very serious and, and grave, and he, he thinks, no, I'm not, and then he watches himself on film and looks like this. <laughs> and so he sees, you're right, I, I need to do this, I need to change this. But at the same time, you need to be sensitive with what is happening around, you know, because, you know, in the five continents that we have, each country has their own differences, right, the cultural, yeah. you know. Uh, point of view. So it doesn't mean to say it works in America, it will work in Asia, or it will work in Africa. So this is from the context, from the American point of view, right? True. I think that, the, but the, the clear message is that we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. And that gospel message can be preached in and out of season, as St. Paul says, anywhere around the world. Yes. However, you're right, there are certain cultural uh, Difference. differences and yes. techniques that one, one may have to be attentive to in making that singular message known throughout the world. Especially with the diocesan priest, I think it's more challenging because you are directly connected with the people. Yes. You know, unlike in the religious order, you are with the community, there is a support core. That's right. You know, but in the you know, it's you're under the bishop, so the eyes and ears are always there, you know. Always there. And then even the parishioner can complain against you. But you know, with the way you're handling it here, it seems, you know, that once they graduated from here, they have the confidence that they knew already how to face the challenges because you know you let them see right away this is your weaknesses this is your strength and how to make use of it Isn't that's it? exactly right and so we tell them and don't be afraid of your weaknesses go after them so if you're afraid of preaching keep preaching work on it work on it work on it if there's something that's not comfortable in your style keep working on it become comfortable and these men do leave with a great uh, theological education um, and they leave with a good confidence in how they can preach. And then also we tell them, I tell them, that the people in the parish will help them to become good preachers because, as you said, they'll tell them when they preach too long or maybe they've not been too exciting. Mm -hmm. And so they maybe learn to be able to adapt a bit when there's a real need to adapt. But also, when we get to be priests in a parish, we serve the people, we go to the hospital, we bury the dead, we yes. baptize the new babies, yes. we marry couples. So we know the joys, we know the struggles of what our people are living out every day in that parish, mm -hmm. which then helps to form and inform our preaching. 